Hi everyone, welcome to my talk at OSDI 2021. My name is Ao Hong Fong from iPad Lab of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I will introduce our work, Scalable Memory Protection in Penglai Enclave. TE or Enclave is a hot topic in recent years. TE can protect a range of special code and data Enclave from other uncharted software, including kernel, hypervisor, or other users' applications and enclaves. To achieve it, TE contains several secure hardware sources, such as secure CPU cores, charted memory controllers, or other on-die security modules. With this security hardware, TE can also protect the off-chip storage and provide the secure memory for enclaves. There are many existing enclave systems, such as Intel HGX, AMD SEV, Amtrust Zone, Keystone, and Penglai for this file. Enclaves have been widely used in many scenarios, especially for protecting the user's private data and performing confidential computing. Meanwhile, the cloud computing becomes prevalent in the last decade. Users may upload their private data into the cloud to analyze. So it is nature to use the enclave to protect the user's privacy in the cloud. There are many existing work applying enclave to the cloud scenarios, such as using enclave to protect AI modules in the machine learning, providing confidential computing and key management, and establishing the secure database to share the user's private data. However, there are still some restrictions for using Enclave in the cloud, especially for some emerging cloud paradigms like serverless. There are three main restrictions. First, the restricted Enclave size. IGX only has 128 or 256 MB Enclave memory with the memory integrated caching, which is insufficient in the cloud. Keystone or Trust Zone can use larger Enclave memory, but the Enclave memory size is hard to scale. Second, the restricted enclave number. The enclave number is restricted by the protected memory regions or the number of encryption keys. Third, the restricted setup latency. The enclave setup latency is restricted by calculating page hash for measurement. So, what causes restrictions in the current enclave systems? After several analysis, we believe that non scalable memory caching is the root cause. Let's see the existing memory protection in current enclaves. In SGX, CPU provides a processor receive memory to store all enclave pages. The enclave memory is protected with memory isolation, memory encryption, and integrity checks. As for trust zone, it uses the trust memory controller to configure several secure world memory regions and the Keystone leverages PMP register to protect the physical memory. There are three metrics in non-scalable memory protection for these existing enclave systems. First, the non-scalable secure memory isolation. Second, the non-scalable secure memory integrity protection. And third, the non-scalable secure memory initialization. In this paper, we propose three new technologies to achieve the scalable memory protection. To adjust the non-scalable memory isolation, we propose a guardian page table and realize the fine-grained memory isolation. To adjust the non-scalable memory integrated protection, we propose the multiple local chain and scale the protected memory size. To adjust the non-scalable memory initialization, we propose the shadow fork to boost the enclave setup. We will explain each problem and the corresponding solution. First, let's talk about the non-scalable memory isolation. The prior art usually uses the region-based memory isolation. It configures several contiguous physical memory regions as secure memory. The secure memory regions are isolated with other normal memory. Such static or almost static memory isolation mechanisms are hard to scale. Page-based isolation is more scalable. It is consistent with the fine-grained memory management and can allocate the protective memory on demand. We prefer to use the page-based memory isolation in enclave. 
there are several systems also realize the fine grained manipulation. Most of the systems used are being mapped to record each page's ownership, like tag memory. However, this approach will introduce a double access issue, which means before accessing the real data in the memory, it needs to do another memory access for page ownership. So how to mitigate the actual overhead of double memory access? There is a basic observation that memory mapping is far less frequent than memory access. We can shift the check from the memory access to the memory mapping. We propose Gaudier pair table to achieve the efficient fine grained memory isolation. First, we restrict the host pair table in a specific memory region called HPT area. HPT area can only be modified by the monitor, which is enhanced by the hardware, like physical memory caching in this file. Other privileges can only read this region. According to this, a secure monitor can ensure that none of the secure page will be mapped in the host page table, which means the host applications cannot access secure pages. In this case, we do not allow system to disable the address translation. To avoid the kernel to load the page table from other memory region, we modify the MMU to support the additional security check. An extended MMU will check each page table location and guarantee that they all reside in HPT area during the page table working. Second, let's talk about why existing integrity protection is not scalable. Current memory integrity protection schemes usually use the bonsai like vocal tree to provide memory integrity protection. As shown in figure, data in the memory is protected by its MAC and counter, and the Merkle chain is built to protect each counter. The topmost chain nodes are stored in SOC, which is limited by the SOC storage size. What's more, these kinds of Merkle chains are almost static. Before enabling the integrated protection, it needs to receive all intermediate nodes and MACs in the memory which is a non-trivial storage overhead. Let's say a more concrete example. If we only protect 128 MB memory, we only need to receive 512 byte storage in SOC for the topmost three nodes and 32 MB storage to receive all intermediate nodes and the max in the memory. However, as we enlarge the protected memory size, it needs more storage in SOC and save more space for chain nodes in main memory, even if there is no secure memory at all. Also, it only protects a contiguous range, which violates the fine grained memory protection mentioned above. So, how to realize the scalable memory integrated protection? We propose a new memory protection abstraction, multiple Merkle chain. First, we divide a whole big chain into several subchains. There are three states for subchain, unallocated, allocated, and mounted. In this setting, all the chain nodes will not be allocated unless the corresponding subchain state is allocated, and we only store the mounted subchain root in SOC. Let's see how multiple Merkle chain works. When machine boots, all memory is non-secure except a fixed size memory range received as MMT metadata zone. In this case, only the chain root is stored in SOC, which will never be evicted. All subtrains are remained unallocated, which means there is no storage overhead in memory or in SOC. When software allocates the secure memory, it only needs to allocate the corresponding subtrain. The secure memory and subchain can be allocated in anywhere in the memory, not in a specific region. With the subchain allocation mechanism, software can allocate the secure memory and the corresponding subchain dynamically, and also manage the memory integrity protection, which is transparent in prior art. As for mounting mechanism, if a subchain is hot, memory controller will mount the subchain root in SOC. So, integrated check will be finished when arriving the subchain root. Mounting mechanism is used to accelerate the memory integrated check due to the memory access locality. 
Third, let's talk about the non-scalable memory initialization. In the secure memory initialization, secure hardware or firmware need to calculate each page hash as its measurement, which will be used in a citation later. Calculating the page hash is time consuming and it usually takes up over 90% time in Enclave startup. We propose the Shadow Fork to juggle both security and scalability. Shadow Fork can reduce the overhead of calculating the page measurement. We can initialize an Enclave instance from a Shadow Enclave, which is a key caption. For the code and data, they can be forked from the Shadow Enclave and copy the writable part. As for other memory regions, like heap and stack, Pointer can guarantee that all these memory regions are zero field. With the benefit of the shadow fork, we can implement a lightweight attestation. When shadow enclave is created, monitor calculates its measurement. Other enclaves instantiated from the shadow enclave can reuse this measurement. We evaluate our scalable memory caching in the real FPJ board QMU and G5 for MMT. We use OpenSPI as our secure monitor and extend it to support Enclave management and scalable memory caching. We choose Linux as our untrusted kernel. First, we evaluate the guardian page table. Guardian page table shifts the checking overhead from the memory access to mapping. We evaluate mapping and access overhead on the LM bench. The evaluation result shows that it incurs at most of 45% overhead for memory map latency and will not sacrifice the performance of memory access. However, will the memory map overhead significantly degrade the real-world application's performance? We choose one of memory-intensive application readiness to test the worst-case performance in the real world. The evaluation result shows that the Guardian pay table will only introduce 5% overhead for set and gauge. Second, we evaluate multiple Merkle tree with spec CPU benchmark. If user memory size is larger than SOC protected size, NGX uses page mechanism to swap the secure data into normal memory. The page will incur up to 7.5 times overhead. However, as for multiple Merkle tree, it uses mounting mechanism to mount the subchain root into SOC. It introduced at most 0 0.64 times overhead, which is much less than SGX. Third, we test the Enclave startup latency. We use the Shadow Fork to boost the secure memory initialization. As for the micro benchmark, Shadow Fork brings 4 to 1000 times speed up than normal Enclave creation. The improvement mainly comes from the reducing the page measurement in Shadow Fork. To get the end-to-end -end improvement, we choose the map reduce as our test case. Using Shadow Fork is 2 to 3.6 times faster than normal creation from single worker to multiple workers. Let's make a summary to our work. We achieve scalable memory protection in Pongline Cave. We first propose Guardian page table to realize a fine grade and flexible memory isolation without double access issue. Second, we introduce the multiple Merkle tree to scale the protected memory size and reduce both in memory and on that storage overhead. Last, we use the shadow fork to boost the secure memory initialization and reduce the overhead of page management. Thank you very much.